Hi, Eric Gibault, ericgibault.com and today I'm going to speak to you about this lens by Mayer Optics Gurlitz, I don't know how you pronounce it, okay? The Primo Plan 75mm 1.9. So let's start. Well, my pink beard is back, but uh, this time we're going to speak about October, pink October. Uh, which is uh, really special. This is the month for uh, fighting against breast cancer. So I want to give uh, all my energy, send all my energy to all these women who are having uh, this cruel disease. My mother had it 30 years ago. She had surgery, she had uh, chemo, she had everything, and she's still here. So don't give up, keep fighting, okay? All my energy and positive energy is, is flying to you, okay? I've reviewed several uh, Chinese optics and many people were asking me, uh, but do you have any uh, European or Occidental uh, gear to show uh, optics, lenses? And I say, yeah, they are, but I don't know uh, how you can get them. So I contacted uh, Mayor Optics Gorlitz. I said, yeah, I'll, I've got people asking for your uh, lenses. Would you be interested? So I'll review them. And I said, yeah, yeah, sure. Which one do you want? So I said, well, I don't know. Tell me, they have several. Which one do you think is best for me to present? I will uh, test it and present it. And they have many mounts, uh, all kind of mounts you can actually imagine. Okay, so I asked for the M42, which is a screw uh, mount. So I could using uh, so, so so using two adapters I have by KF Concept. I've been able to test it on my Olympus OM1 and also on my Fujifilm XE1. Okay, so they sent me this lens. I'm not a big fan of unboxing, but when you see a box like this, you want to show it. So let's open here open the, the cotton box then I get this out and then you will find uh, several things first I show you here is packed in there okay you have like three kind of uh, tip postcard type but there are three pictures okay made with uh, this kind of optics and it's really important you have uh, information technical information you have guarantee cards and also the quality check because they are hand mounted they are uh, built uh, really carefully and you see they have the quality check so i think that was really a really nice touch to have this then you get to the box you have like it's look like uh, for jewel okay a, a black lacquered uh i think it's a lacquered i don't know it's a name uh wooden box you open it you expect to find a jewel in there and uh, you have uh, like a velvet in here your optic is in there in plastic here you have the sunshade okay and this really look like a jewel and you will see it is so let's carry on if you have not done it yet i invite you to subscribe to, YouTube, to my youtube channel the small button down here so small bell if you click on the bell get notified when i upload a new video so let's continue so here's the lens as you can see this is a m42 screw mount so here i just have the adapter i've got two i've got four uh fujifilm x and four micro four third i simply uh, screw it on it okay that's simple obviously this makes the lens a lot longer okay but uh, it means that i've got uh, more versatility i can use on any of my uh, cameras if just need the adapter but in case you're going to use it on only one camera type buy the mounts that correspond to your camera they have everything including uh, Canon RF uh, it's not autofocus it's fully manual so no problem and a special mention for M mounts if you have a Leica M camera you could use it but it's not rangefinder coupled it means you will need this uh, special visoflex they put on the, uh, the the hot shoe of the camera uh, that's his for uh, leica m11 m10 i don't know which other okay you have an optional viewfinder so you will need, need it to be able to focus okay so but here it is i'll remove uh, the cap here i can place the sunshade here everything is metal sunshade included it's really precise when you place it and even with sunshade you can still place the cap okay so fantastic let's carry on the build quality is simply crazy good incredible metal really beautiful here the, you have the focusing ring this is manual lens minimum distance is 75 centimeters up to infinity but look at this this is not too stiff not too smooth fantastic here you have the uh, the, the aperture ring from 1.9 up to f16 
this is clickless honestly i would love if it, if it was the it, it was optional to have with click or without click this is clickless um, i know that many people in video they want to use that kind of lens for the look it gives really cinematic look and they want to be able to change the aperture but not for an exposure reason just to change the aspect of the bokeh the autofocus part give a different look okay so speaking about this as you can see here the aperture has 15 blades this is incredible 15 okay as you can see it's completely circular that means that uh, as you can see on some picture i show you and i will uh, show during the video it gives really uh, a really nice look for out of focus port and uh, po uh, point of lights really circular really brilliant really so this uh, this lens is simply magical when you touch it you feel it it's incredible one of the cards the picture here you have tips instructions on how to use this lens how to obtain special looks many people when they buy a lens they want like 75 millimeter 100 millimeter or 50 millimeters and for many people there's no difference between a 50 millimeter of such brand or such other brand they don't think really they don't realize many people don't realize there are big difference in aspect when you get a lens like this you understand what i speak about you travel to a different world of photography probably this is when you really get into the artistic part of photography you feel very different first of all one thing this is a 75 millimeter but on my olympus this is the equivalent of 100 um, uh, equivalent of 150 millimeter and on my uh, fujifilm the equivalent of 112.5 millimeter okay so it means the instruction you get there they're a bit different for example this is the perfect portrait lens they recommend you to get this special look to use it at from one to two meters obviously if you have a crop factor then the distance you have to multiply also to get a similar effect otherwise you will have portrait on my olympus that would be just the eyes if i stand at one meter instead of uh, two and a half or three meters okay if you want to have this special uh they call it soap bubble bokeh which is like bubble this is incredible really incredible they also explain how to get it okay and here also the famous swirl it means on the border the the, the lens gives a special effect really uh, different okay this lens go opens from 1.9 up to f16 obviously uh, you can use it at any uh, aperture but i read i would recommend use it uh, between 1.9 and 2.8 okay because this is the the whole sense of using a lens like this okay of obviously if you want to close at f8 you will get a look that is more like a traditional lens a current lens but i think what's interesting in this lens is to use it at maximum aperture or close to maximum aperture okay and when you start to use it this way you understand that uh, you think different you forget about sharpness you forget about your camera even about your subject maybe you use this lens as a tool a carving tool how i'm going to carve my picture using this tool how, how am i going to get a really special effect a special look something really really creamy uh, dreamy a uh, circular point of light you think different you really work uh, as if it was uh, i would say a, a paintbrush you work in a special way playing with aperture playing with distance playing to get this special look and i think this is really fantastic this is really where you feel like you are building something not just capturing something you are creating something shaping something with this lens wonderful the minimum distance as i said before uh, focusing distance 75 this is a fully manual uh, lens you need to focus manually so this is why i think it's better to use it on a mirrorless camera because you can activate focus picking and to know precisely where you are focusing obviously it can be used on a reflex using the mount for reflex camera like canon e e ef for example okay but it's i think it's harder on a reflex to estimate if it's in focus than having a mirrorless that tells you electronically that yes it is fine okay second uh, you can see the aperture is from 1.9 to f16 at 1.9 the amount of light that enters is incredible 
this is a lot of light so maybe the camera you have doesn't have a high uh, speed for a shutter speed uh, high enough okay so uh, that could be a problem so you will likely uh, use the electronic shutter in this case so you can uh, push up uh, the, the the speed you're actually uh, closing the the shutter okay second if you wanted to cut uh, light using an ND filter for example or use for any reason ND filter the filter size is 52 millimeter okay maybe you wonder why in 2022 a brand is making uh, optics like this that looks like really vintage from another time and uh, who would be interested in this well first you are right it's from another time because this uh, lens was designed and patented by paul shafter uh, i have to read i don't speak german okay in uh, on the 17th of june 1936 about 80 years ago this is crazy okay this is a lens that is uh, was thought designed 80 years ago and then it was redesigned by Dr. Wolf Dieter Prenzel a few years ago to adapt to uh, what uh, digital uh, needs because uh, digital is more uh, asking for more precision than, uh, than uh, analog photography. Okay, so it has to be redesigned. But still, the basic look is still the one you could get 80 years ago. This is magical. Okay, so yes, there are people who don't want a uh, razor sharp pictures they want a different look they're actually a bit fed up with the, the digital because for them it's too sharp too uh, digital too too uh, no too strong they don't see enough softness in the picture okay so uh, not only in photography also in video actually in video many people are trying to get this cinematic look that is more uh, yeah softer it doesn't look like a natural geographic reportage on tv it looks it has to look like cinema which is different i don't say uh, what uh, uh, tv is doing is bad it's just different but they want this special look okay so this is why uh, this lens has its place on the market because people want uh, some people not all of them some people have a different way of thinking about photography, a different way of creating their photos or their videos, and they want a special look, vintage. And this is where this lens has its place, okay? So I've been playing with the lens to see uh, the bubble effect, the point of light, all this, but I wanted to push it a bit further. I wanted to combine with lighting. So I made some picture, like this portrait of Claudia Reyes, several portraits, uh, playing with a free will, uh, tube lens uh, LED tube they have they sent me I will review it soon okay and I could see how the lens reacts when uh, you place light really close to it sideways on top to the side all this and you realize that uh, light affects a lot the results uh, you can get really creamy really a milky look when it's really close to the lens and you lose completely the contrast so it looks a lot less sharp it really give a really special effect okay or on the other hand you can uh, uh, use the light in a more, more traditional way so you don't lose that much contrast and you still have uh, this special look but it's a different look so it means when you combine this lens with a special lighting you can really build your picture you can really uh, be like a sculpture working you are carving your picture your picture in a really special way not just uh the lens it's the combination of everything the distance the aperture which is uh, the lens when we speak about the aperture the lighting all this this is magical so i really love to be able to play i think this is a really uh something it's really so uh, i was really passionate uh, using this okay so yeah for someone who want to create something really special it's fantastic obviously you can do so many things with the lens like this working with it depending on the lighting all this that it will take time to you for you to to really know it to know its reaction all this but i think this is uh, what photography is about knowing your gear and knowing how to use it as a tool to create whatever you want okay so conclusion well this lens is simply fantastic but for me on my fuji film with a 1.5 uh, crop factor that was really nice on my olympus uh, with the micro four third uh, crop factor of two it was like 150 millimeter for me that was too long for portrait outdoor fine indoor too long uh, this is why i don't like the olympus 75 millimeter uh, 
2.8 or 1.8 because for me it's too long it doesn't mean this lens is not good it means for what i do for my taste obviously if you like the 75 millimeter by olympus you will love this lens okay so that's that's the thing okay so for me uh mr mayor optic gorlitz i would love to get the 58 millimeter uh you have to uh test it on the olympus okay oh on the lumix okay but micro four third but still i think this lens is simply brilliant i think this is a lens uh you will love uh, if you understand what it is for how you use it it's not a lens you just arrive to the place you uh, focus and you, you shoot no this is a lens you work with you build your picture with you see as a whole not just the subject you really see that the background you have to place the element you have to work on it you have to build your picture this is something really pure passion really fantastic way of working for people who like this way okay if you're the typical guy you want a fast autofocus really sharpest lens that's not for you okay but if you're a photographer who loves uh, to really work the aspect of his picture uh, really not just sharpness but the whole thing the different way of thinking you will you will fall in love with this lens if you do video also so for me yes this is a completely recommendable lens so uh if you're interested in it i'll leave you a link in the description where you can buy it honestly i really hope uh, uh may optic will send me the 58 millimeter i really want to to try it okay but this 75 is a lens i'm going to use i just love it so thank you very much uh may optic gorlitz for sending me uh, the lens thank you to you for watching the video if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet i invite you to subscribe to my youtube channel small button down here it's a small bell if you click on the bell get notified when i upload a new video my website erichibo.com if you have any question can leave a comment below so leave you links of my gear on amazon links of everything I reviewed by kf concepts and mark and the flashes by westcott and also a link to my paypal account in case you wanted to make a donation thank you very much please take care of yourself and see you soon bye mm -hmm.